Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Guess what? It is Thursday. And like always, I hope you're ready to dominate your day and dominate your path. You have a lot of great things in store ahead of you, gentlemen, and I hope you believe that. And yesterday, as I got back to work, we got back into the rhythm of things after Christmas, after the holidays. It was great to be living my purpose. And one question that I have for you today is what is your purpose? What is your purpose as a man? What inspires you? What keeps you going? What keeps you going when the road gets tough? Do you have a vision for the future? Do you see it? Do you smell it? Do you feel it? Do you wake up with that vision strong, gentlemen? Because if you do not, I can tell you the days are hard. <laughs> the days are hard. You must develop a vision for your life. You must develop a purpose for your life. Which leads me to the topic of discussion today. And I see so many men, I see so many men living in a way that gives them a way out, right? They stop playing to win. Are you playing to win every day or are you playing not to lose? I remember the first time I was asked this question and it knocked me back on my feet because I had to reflect and I had to look at my life and I had to say, hey, am I playing to win or am I playing not to lose? One is offense and one is defense. And the man that plays a defensive life often finds struggle in the day-to-day -day life activities. He often finds lack of purpose. He often finds lack of meaning. He often falls into depression. He often has anxiety. Those men who play defense, who just play not to lose. I always find it fascinating that the greatest weakness of a team, of any sports team, the greatest weakness of any sports team is being up, is being having the edge, is having the upper hand, because all of a sudden they go from playing to win to now not playing not to lose. And eventually the team starts gaining on them, the enemy starts gaining on them. And how does somebody come back from a huge, huge advantage? Because the team stops playing to win. So today, gentlemen, on this day, on this day that God has given us another day to breathe, to live, to lead, to serve. I want you to start playing to win. You were born to win. What does that mean? It means taking initiative. It means getting up early. It means dominating every second of your day and not giving in to the mediocrity, not giving in to the temptation of playing defense and waiting for good things to happen. Success is not by chance. Success does not happen by luck. Success is about principles that every man can learn. Every man can adopt principles and habits. And one of those habits, gentlemen, is learning to live, playing to win. You're a winner. And I don't know if anybody's told you that, but you are a winner. God designed you to be a winner. And there is nothing that you can't accomplish. You're your greatest enemy. You're your greatest weakness. Get out of your head. Live with purpose today, gentlemen, and play to win. All right, we're out. We're out today. And like always, guys, if you enjoy the content and my 
my purpose, just to let you know, of this podcast is not to give men more information because between you and I, we all know that information <laughs> is everywhere. We don't need more information. You already know what to do. What we need is changed behavior. So my mission is to change your behavior, gentlemen, because behavioral change will get you any outcome that you want in life. So if you enjoy the content, if you enjoy this episode, make sure to share it, spread the brotherhood, let others know that Onward Men, the movement is about moving forward and being men who lead and inspire and serve. Dominate your day. We're out.